So here we are on my Chromecast Google TV running the latest Android 12. This is one of my favorite applications for Android TVs, which is the Aurora Store. Now with this application, you really can access the entire Google Play Store. So not just applications limited to your device, but the entire Play Store. The only slight caveat with this application is that it does need a virtual mouse. Well, watch what happens when I press one button on my remote control, long press this, and I now see this new pop-up menu giving me multiple actions, multiple triggers, all with a single button. And we can see that the right arrow is the mouse. Let's press that now. And here we have it guys. We now have a fully working virtual mouse. I can click on things. Let's click on that. Now to scroll, you double tap the direction. So if I double tap down, it scrolls down. I can scroll down again. I can move to the right. I can scroll back up by pressing double up. That's working great. I can go back here, click on this back arrow, and I once again have a fully working virtual mouse on my Android 12 Chromecast with Google TV. But not only that guys, with this amazing application, you really can bind shortcuts to all of your favorite actions. So you can quickly launch applications, you can launch the virtual mouse, you can even see recent applications. So if I bring up the panel again, we can see the down arrow brings up the recent app. So now this feature is not normally supported on the Chromecast. It is available for the Nvidia Shields, for example, but now using this new application, I can just press the down arrow and I can now see all of my recent applications. So I can now cycle between them. I can flick back to downloader, press it again, press the recent actions, and jump back into the Aurora store. So now the application in question is called TV Actions Pro. Now this is a premium application, which means it's not free, but for less than $2, you can get this application, use it as many times as you want. It's a one-time fee, but also if you don't want to pay, the developer actually gave me 10 free codes. So 10 of my lucky viewers watching this video can get this application absolutely free. Just make sure you watch this video to the end so you can find out exactly how you can get that. But really guys, when you look at some of these features, we can now remap one button into five distinct actions. So in my example, I was using the back button and you can now set that as your mouse toggle, as recent apps, you can bring up a media player, you can set a sleep timer and really so much more. Here we can see some of the other features like you can enable a sleep timer, you can quickly access your Bluetooth manager, a media control panel. So really just maximum flexibility with this application. You can invoke all of those actions with a single button. So, I mean, having a small remote control like this, which we can see is really limited. There's not really much we can do with it. Having five actions with a single button, you can see why paying less than $2, it really is superb value for this amazing application. Here we can see they're using the Netflix button to remap, but I use the back button. And we can see you can create custom channels. You can create different menus. You can even have a sleep timer. Really great features. Okay, so let me now open this up for the first time and I'll show you the most popular thing you're trying to do, which is how to set up a virtual mouse on the new Chromecast Google TV running Android 12. Okay, so when you first open up the application, this is what you'll see. Again, it's telling you that you can have five distinct actions with a single button. You can also set single click and double click actions. Let's click on continue. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is to turn on the accessibility services. So very nice and easy. It tells you I can click on agree. It takes you into your settings. We can see inside settings, I have accessibility. I can now scroll down and we should now see a service for the TV Quick Actions Pro. So Let's just turn that on. That's now all done. I can now press back, back again, and let's go back to the application. Okay, now the other thing you need to do because this is running Android 12, for you to enable a virtual mouse, you have to open up or enable one of the experimental features. Now to do that, let's get out your settings, go over to the right, and where it says ADB, let's click on that. And we now we see we have an option which says use ADB for mouse. So this is only if you're running Android 12. 
you have to enable this option. If you don't enable this option, you'll be able to see the virtual mouse, but you won't be able to click on anything. So I'm gonna turn that on. Let's click on allow and allow again. And of course, do already check and make sure you have USB debugging enabled. Okay, let's press back. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually create a trigger and a virtual panel, which is going to show once we press that trigger button. So let's go over to buttons and we can see the default action is the back button. So I'm gonna leave the default, but if you do want to remap one of the other buttons, you can do that, but I'm gonna leave mine as the back button. Let's click on that. Okay, so we can see that the button needs to be enabled. Let's turn that on. That's now enabled, but before we assign something to the long press, we have to now create a virtual panel. So let's go back again, back one more time. Now where it says menus and panels, let's click on that and let's click on create a menu. Okay, so we can leave the default as menu one. In fact, let's just give it a name. Let's just call it TD UK, why not? That's now all done. Okay, I can now click on OK. Let's just pick a random icon for the panel. Let's go for this one over here. Okay, and now what are the actions? So let's click on that. And we now have up, left, the actual select button, down and right. So now we can say, for example, when I press up, let's click on that. I want to load a certain application. So I like to load downloader. Let's click on that. That's now bound to the up button. Uh, for left, let's uh, go down. We can launch YouTube. So that's left. And now for down, let's go to feature. I'm gonna enable recent apps. Let's click on that. And for the right, I'm going to enable the virtual mouse, which is the cursor. So we now have those four actions bound to that single button. Let's press back, press back again and we now have this new panel. So all we have to do now is assign this panel to that long press. So let's press back again. Let's go over to buttons and actions. We have the back button. And now when I do a long press, let's click on that. I can say, I want to load the TD UK panel. So let's click on that. That's now all done. Let's press back. I mean, guys, to be fair, this application really is jam packed with some fantastic features. The developer has done a fantastic job. I mean, you really can spend a long time in here going through the features. You can back up your settings. You can change the icons. You can look at the recent apps. He really has made a fantastic app. And again, guys, for $1.99 or for you know under $2, I really think it's superb value. So now we've finished all of that. Let's now actually put that into action. Press the home key. Now, wherever you are in whichever application, if you want to bring up your quick panel, I just long press the back button. So one, two, there it is. And we can now see the shortcut. So up is the downloader, left is YouTube, down is the recent apps, and the right is the virtual mouse. And uh, let's go to downloader, one click, and we are straight into the application. Now in here, if I want to bring up a virtual mouse, long press back, and this time I'm gonna press uh, the right arrow. And do we now have a virtual mouse? So I can now click on things. I can move things around. I can go to the browser, double tap down again, scrolling down, double tap up. That scrolls back up and that's working absolutely fine. So wherever you are guys, you can press the home button. You can press back once to turn off the virtual mouse. If I'm now inside YouTube, Again, if I wanna bring up the panel, long press the back button. I see the menu there. If I want to see my recent apps, I can press down. And I can now see all of the apps running in the background. And also with one click, I can click on close all. I mean, that in itself is a superb feature with this application. And if you want to get this application absolutely free, just leave me a comment below and tell me why you prefer Android TV devices over the Amazon ones. Leave me a comment below and I will pick 10 random winners in the next few days and I will create a community post with those 10 winners very soon. So do leave me a comment below if you want to win. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this application. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.